Champions Coach Peter here. Uh, many of you have asked me so many questions about the short ball. So I'm gonna tackle the short ball um, as deep and as wide as I can. First, I'm gonna, th I'm gonna show you the three short balls, or th the three ways to hit it, how to hit those three short balls. Then, after that, I'm gonna tell you how to hit the ball, when, when, when you should use the better one, when, if your confidence is high, which one should you use? If your confidence is low, which one should you use? All those things. So stay tuned all the way to the end because I'm going to give you some tactical tips as well to win more points on the short ball. The first short ball is the most common one. It's, the, it's basically the pivot step. So it's, the, it's a normal one. It's a lot less can go wrong. Basically get to the ball, you stay down and your right hip comes through the ball without any jumps, not too much movement, okay? So it's going to look like this. Step to the ball, follow the ball and your hip goes through over here. Very safe shot, good one to use if you want to go to the net, not a bad one. The second one, very common one, is the, is the hop, the hop skip. Not my personal favorite, but it does work, especially on the short ball. Sometimes when players try and use it, they, they hop up, they frame and they miss. So make sure when you do the hop, the hop skip on the, on the short, low ball, that you hop skip forward. And then you can obviously charge the net if you wanted to. So it will look something like this. So on the low one, and you skip through the ball as you go. Notice my back leg does kick back. On the front leg. Okay, that's the hop skip. Last one, very, very common on the high ball. Uh, also, if you wanna go for an all out winner on the short high ball, it's a great one. This one is the, is the jump. It's a jump short ball, jump skip, whatever you want to call it. This is where you're going to load on your outside leg so that you have enough rotation. And then you're going to jump into the ball and land on your front leg. Great way to hit a cross court winner on the short ball, which I'll explain to you is a very good time to use it. But it will look like this. So you load. You're going to get a lot of power like that as well. Load on the outside leg. To the front leg. Champion, so let me tell you when to use all three of them, when is the best time to use them. And can we, can we have the camera behind me so you can see what I'm gonna do? So we're gonna act, we're gonna pretend like you wanna go forward to the net and finish the point, okay? So the pivot step is a great way to, to not lose um, too much control and make sure that you're not erratic. It's, a, it's the best way to also make sure you don't miss your short ball uh, more than you want to, okay? So this, it will look like this. If you're gonna go for the first volley, pivot step, 70% pace through the ball and then you go for the volley. So as you can see, it's a very safe shot. If your confidence on that day is not great, use the pivot step, hit 70% pace, Try and finish the point on the volley, okay? Um, don't go for all out winner. You'll notice, I've got more videos on that, but you'll notice I'm approaching down the line to keep the court closed. But uh, I'll make another video on that as well. So number two, let's talk about the hop skip. You have to use the hop skip. The only time to use it is on the low one. I wouldn't use it on the neutral one or on the high ball. I'll only use it on the low ball. You're not gonna go for an all out winner on the low ball. So again, this is just to set it up at the net, okay? So you're gonna go to low short ball, it's nice and low, skip, and then you're gonna go trying to close the volley, okay? I'm gonna show you guys one more. Look at my feet, low ball again there, Coach Jerry. So I'm going for the skip, following the ball, and all right, clean up the volley. So when should you try and go for a all-out winner. I would say 20% of the time, and only go for all-out winner on the short ball approach when your confidence is extremely high, okay? Now, I would use the, the jump short ball 
on a day where you're feeling good, confidence is high, and you're making most of your winners. And then you can also use that short pull to go cross court. It's the only time you wanna go cross court on the short ball is if you're going for an all out winner and you're not trying to, you're not, you're not thinking about the next volley, okay? More often than not, please think about, I'm gonna hit a volley, but use this one if you want a clean winner, then you go cross court. Never go down the line if you're looking for a clean winner because if they, if they get there, you're gonna have to hit a volley. Cross court is always better to cut the angle off and if you're looking for the ball, not to come back at all. We'll look something like this. So I'm loading onto the front leg, trying to hit a cross court winner. I'm loading and notice how I'm not even waiting for the next ball. I'll give you one more. And okay, so it's when you go for that big winner, you don't want the ball to come back. You use the open stance, load on the front. You can use that same shot. If you're also trying to uh, hit more power on your down the line shot, your confidence is high, you can use it. I don't always recommend it. I would rather use the jump short ball for the cross court winner. Hope that answers your questions, guys. Uh, please, please comment below with your questions, what you don't understand. I love giving you guys free value. I really wanna help you get your game of tennis to the highest level possible. And uh, I just really enjoy giving free value and I, I really appreciate all your comments as well. Where you guys are telling me how much I'm helping you. I never thought I'd be able to help so many people online. Subscribe. Thank you for supporting me. Like, share with a friend. You guys are great.